we're here to talk to people in the racing industry about basically a faster way to manufacture kind of short runs of high performing components. So what sort of things can you make that could be used in the motor, motor industry? So there's a lot of teams now doing things from actually printing carbon fiber layup tools to just producing the parts directly. So since we can produce some parts with carbon fiber inside, we can get a lot of stiffness and pretty good surface finish. So things like aerodynamic features, clips and brackets, uh, some driver customization items, those are the kind of things we want to really promote here. And what are the benefits then of, of 3D printing these little bits rather than you know, going out to a conventional factory or manufacturer yeah. to, to build them? So the, a huge benefit, especially in an industry like racing, is that you don't have to pay for the tooling then. So since we can take go from the CAD design straight into the finished part, you don't have that big investment in tooling when you only need one or two parts off it. So it lets racing teams really change the direction they're going, iterate designs very, very quickly compared to the traditional methods. Can you give me some examples of where your 3D printing is being used, any teams that are using it? Yeah, yeah. So we have two partnerships right now. So we have McLaren Honda over in the UK. And then we're also partnered with Pen Team Penske in the US. So McLaren uses this for things like, of course, prototyping and design, but also for building parts directly on the car. So from hydraulic brackets to aerodynamic surfaces, you get a lot of use out of this technology. And what do you think the sort of future is? My sense is that the way you're actually just scratching the surface with 3D printing, there are many more applications down the yeah. road. Right, so it's one of the huge advantages for us, partnering with people in racing is that as you guys are well aware, people want to progress very quickly in that. It's a competition. So it pushes our R&D department to do what racing really needs. So for us, it's a learning experience to understand where to go next. We can change, we just need to make sure we're going that direction. And ultimately, I mean, say you, were, you, know, you approach the team and say, yeah, we want you to design and build a part for us. Would it always be on you then to, to print and manufacture that or would you give them a, a machine and get them to do it themselves? So we're actually the machine OEM. So we've done a lot of work over the last 20 plus years on developing technology. So our main business is to actually provide machines to customers. So teams like McLaren and Penske have machines on site with them that they can actually take to the racetrack with them. So they can do manufacturing wherever they need to. So we give them the tools and they use them. And also, can I ask you all about the show itself? I mean, how have you found being at the show? What do you think of the show? I mean, for me, it's always interesting to come to industry shows like the racing industry shows. It's a, it's a different crowd and a different scene than we're used to in kind of the design and prototyping space. So it's, yeah, it's a good way to spend the week for me.